Good afternoon. I have to look at the clock to know what part of the day it is because it's overcast and it's rainy. So, happy Hallow's Eve. Um, the celebration for me actually starts uh, today, but as you can see, I'm at the day job. Um, I'm thinking of... Let me think. You know, I think I'm going to do some readings today, tonight. A really late special. You know, I haven't done that in a while. I miss it. I would very much like to, uh, you know, you know, I really wish my cuticles weren't dry. Um, that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and then tomorrow is supposed to be the fun day. Um, my husband works night shift, so I don't know exactly per se how that's going to work out. So, anywho, um, so, thing is about Halloween, it's, it's about reflection. It's about those that are no longer with us. And it's also about harvest. It's, all, it's about the balance of life and death. Honestly, that's what, it, that's what Samhain and, oh my eye, that's what Samhain and, <clears throat> some people pronounce it as um, Samhain. Um, that's because, you know, through the English language, things change. You know, like the word color. If you look how people in Europe spell the word color, it's, yeah, it's different than what we do. We dropped a whole letter. Um, <clears throat> anywho, like the word for toilet, it's different everywhere. Go to the head, go to the loo, go to the water closet, go to the, go, go, go to the, go to the, the porcelain throne or, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people, you know. Anywho, we're not talking about languages. We're talking about what it's really about. Now, Hallow's Eve, <clears throat> it's, um, it's preparing for the next day. Um, a lot of people will do a fasting. I start fasting, actually, of course, 12 in the morning. And that's actually, um, when I'm going to do readings and stuff. I'm gonna start 12 in the morning and end at three in the morning. Because that is the whole witching hours. If you're doing a spell and you really want it to be like pretty strong where other, I call it junk energy isn't around or awake, usually the best thinking and the best spell casting and the best meditation is when everyone is asleep. When the TVs are off and <clears throat> there's not a lot of electrical frequency and all that is not as prevalent as it is during the day. So, if you're going to be doing any spells or any manifestation, I do always recommend to do that around 12 in the morning all the way to 3. Because that is the time when everything is, the veil is, the veil that separates this world and the next is the most thinnest. <clears throat> 
Um, also, it's Halloween. Now, a lot of people like to say that Halloween is the devil's holiday. Let's clear some things out. Let's clear this up. It is not the devil's holiday. And, and furthermore, how dare you assume that that is a devil's holiday? Do people that are practice, you know, I call it the bad, the bad walks of life, the bad juju, like Satanism, Luciferianism, um, black magic, what have you, what have you not. I mean, the list goes on and on and what bad is out. What's out there is bad. Um, and people practice. They, 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 let's face it. They can take any holiday they want and use it. There is no sacred holiday to them. They'll take Easter, Ostra. They'll take Yule or Christmas and use it for something bad just because they know the word got out that they do it and they want to piss you off. They also want you to think that people that aren't basic Christian, they want you to think <clears throat> that we are all in this, we all have, you know, a part of the same cloth and we are not. Definitely we're not. I am friends with some people that do that and they know better than to drag me in it. I am an omniist. I have very strong Christian roots. <clears throat> if I pray, I pray to Yahweh or Yeshua. That is the Jewish word for God and Jesus. I go, Oh, Father, Yah oh, Father Yahweh. I call him Father Yahweh. And if I'm looking for healing and guidance and knowledge, I, I call and ask for a moment of Yeshua's time. Because let's face it, yes, was busy. It's a lot of stuff going on in this world. They can't really be everywhere. At least I don't think they could be. And I don't want to ask anything of them because I don't know. I'm humble. I don't feel that I deserve it. Not because I'm bad and done some screwed up stuff. But because there are people worse off out there that need their attention. <clears throat> now, let's talk about Halloween, Samhain, Samhain, whatever you want to call it, Harvest Day. The next day after Halloween is All Saints Day. That's when I pray for those that the bad people have cast a deal upon on Halloween. Because let's face it, people, a lot of people have turned Halloween into a day of debauchery. It's not supposed to be about that. It's not supposed to be about debauchery. It's not supposed to be about getting fucked. It's not supposed to be about, it's not supposed to be about doing drugs and tripping. It's not about casting ill wishes on folks. It's not about sacrificing. No. Furthermore, anyone that sacrifices a black cat on that day, I hope you lose your eyesight. <laughs> because that's anyone's precious thing, the gift of sight. Because if you can't see, you can't do nothing. <laughs> Not so much, anyways. I know that was really mean. Wishing someone to... Hoping someone to lose their eyesight. But th don't sacrifice anything. And don't play with Ouija boards. If you don't know what you're doing, and if you can't protect yourself in that retrospect, don't fuck with it. Sorry. Don't mess with it. Leave it alone. Whoever thought Ouija boards were a great idea for carpeting on your in your room? 
that's not good. You got a giant living room portal, basically. Your whole floor of that rug is a portal. I don't understand the fascination with Ouija boards. So, I, d I digress. Back to the back to the point where I said, um, "How dare you take a holiday and assume, because of a few bad people made it bad, <clears throat> that it's just plain bad." <clears throat> it's it's so much easy to de literally demonize a holiday because you know people few few bad people for whatever reason felt it was right to use the holiday for <coughs> you know to cause pain and suffering and misery it's it's not nice and it gives them bad karma so rest assured they, they they'll get theirs eventually just Kind of hope in the back of your mind you see it for the for, for you know first hand. Um, I'm tired of sneezing. I'm about to sneeze. Anywho, <clears throat> sorry. Um. <sighs> There's a lot of people that have taken holidays from days of yore and turned it to something else that pertained to them. Or they felt they could make it to pertain to them. Like, um, Easter. Easter came from Astra. Hence why the egg thing and the bunny thing. The bunny represents fertility. And the egg represents life, birth. <clears throat> um, Halloween, Samhain, Samhain. <clears throat> um, Christians have pretty much. demonized it because they don't know how to utilize it because oh the devil's holiday well actually Sam Hain was god I, I forgot the name of the god with the antlers he was god of the forest god of nature god of the harvest he had deer antlers not devil horns and he did resemble a goat but the thing is, he wasn't a goat. He was part stag. So, bubble popped. As for the jack-o'-lantern thing, they didn't use pumpkins. Not straight up. Pumpkins just look really cool that way. I guess people like pumpkins more than gourds. They would empty the gourds and carve faces on them. Hollow them out. <clears throat> dry them out even and they um put candles in them I to this day on Halloween when I have the space to permit it I actually you know put a candle in it <clears throat> it, it the, the idea was to ward away bad spirits and it was it was tradition where people would dress up as scary things or dead relatives they would dress up as that and they would go door to door seeking sweets to people that didn't have a pumpkin now the rules are reversed if someone has a pumpkin you automatically assume hey they're participating let's go knock knock trick or treat smell my feet give me something good to eat <laughs> and it was a real thing. Trick or treat. People could choose. They either get tricked or they give per them a treat so they don't get tricked. So, 
Um, and what really bothers me was there are churches that will flat out, um, they, they do trunk or treat, which is cool, it's great, and you're letting these kids that, you know, that trick or treat and participate in this holiday tradition safely because what church is going to tamper with candy? Also, it drums up more, uh, more, um, it's, it's a community thing where people can meet and greet and be welcomed into a church that they're not a part of and be like, you know, this, this church seems pretty laid back. Maybe I'll go, go to their Sunday school uh, or, or go to one of their worship services and see what it's all about because they don't seem to be so, oh, it's a devil's holiday. There are, there are some, uh, churches I've noticed that actually have a stipulation and rules on how, how you can participate to their trunk or treat. Like, you can't dress up as superheroes, you can't dress up as cartoon characters, no, uh, you can't dress up as anything... You can't dress up as any devils or angels or... No, wait. You can't dress up as any devils or anything violent. So if someone dresses up as a soldier, if a kid dresses up as an army, as an army guy, um, they will automatically not just tell them they, they can't participate. They, got, they have to leave. <laughs> they will ignore them and not give them any candy. I've seen it. I'm not, I'm not going to mention the church that did this, <clears throat> but I seen it. This kid was dressed as a little sailor. Thing is, he was dressed up as Popeye, and uh, they said, oh, he's dressed as, he's dressed as a Navy, as, as, a, as a Navy man. We're not giving him any candy. And this kid was heartbroken. This kid was crying. He was utterly upset. <clears throat> and at age seven, this kid said, Mommy, I want to go home. Um, all his friends were there. He wanted to be Popeye because his grandfather was a fan, and he liked Popeye too. They, they would watch that, and his grandfather wasn't there anymore. And he still, even though he had the costume, he, he still wanted to be Popeye. He said, "He said it would be like Grandpa and me going trick or treating like we used to." That's how he looked at it. So, yeah. That was terrible. You don't use any holiday for some kind of freaking agenda. Let people have fun. <clears throat> and plus, this thing I'm seeing about these different colored pumpkins, uh, pumpkin pails, that's a great idea. Awesome idea. But can we just let a holiday be a holiday without... Spread this awareness. Spread that awareness. Spread this awareness. Spread nut and gluten allergy awareness. It's like, okay. Now, it is a bummer. Some kids are allergic to certain candies. It sucks. I feel for you. I do. What I don't feel for is you expect everybody to bend over backwards and have like a buffet of many different gluten-free, sugar-free, nut-free, chocolate, sugar, whatever free, um, organic, f uh, candy buffet. It's like, okay. It's like, okay. It's a bummer, but you, you make it so people just like, you know what, I'm not buying candy today because, you know, I don't want to run the awkward... In, I don't want to run into the awkward moment where some kid that only is allowed to have gluten-free or sugar-free, this, that, or the other, you know, comes and gets my candy and they can't have it. I don't want to be responsible for getting, for throwing a child into an anaphylactic shock or having them, like, 
I don't know, die. That would suck. And as for the rumor of people saying, oh, someone's putting THC and CBD and candy, uh, yeah, no. No. The amount, it's too expensive to do that to people. Who would waste CBD and THC? Or acid, I heard that rumor. Someone's passing out acid. <laughs> no, they're not. It's too expensive. And how I know is I have friends that do that mess. And I'm not, I don't see a point in doing it anymore. Not for the past pff, eight years. Maybe longer. Ten years. I could confidently say ten years. I haven't done any Mar Mary Jane in a good hot minute. So, can we just let this holiday be a holiday? And the next holiday, and the next holiday, and so on and so forth. Just relax. So that's all I have for you guys. And be, be aware that on Facebook, I'm going to go live. I am going to see if I can do live on YouTube. Alright, so, love and light to you all, and I wish, I wish, I wish we all have a really good day today.